Hey guys, Jesse here from Tonkadale, and today we're planting a fall container. What I have here are frost tolerant annuals and perennials that look great together in fall containers. Let's start with the mums. Mums are kind of the showpiece of fall, and I wanna give you some tips on what to look for when you're picking out your mums. This one here is called Flamingo Pink. Isn't she cute? One here is called Sunset Orange. When I'm shopping for my mums, I like to buy them with their buds as tight as possible because then that allows for them to open gradually over the course of the fall season. If you need instant color, go for a mum that is more open. This one I would say is about 25 to 30% open. I always do orange because orange is my fall color. It goes well with my house. But let's talk a little bit about some of the accent plants that we can um, pair with our mum. So we have our mum. It's kind of our chunky centerpiece. Um, and I love fall because fall is so simple. There's just not that many choices and putting together a combination is very simple. Fall planters are very chunky, there's less elements and they go together really quickly. I love ornamental grasses in my fall containers. This one is called uh, Red Rooster, it's a type of sedge. And then I have uh, this one that likes to spill out the front, it's called Toffee Twist. So many of the ornamental grasses, including perennial grasses, will tolerate uh, a frost. I also have Dusty Miller. Dusty Miller back from spring. I also have our friend Lemon Coral Sedum. So if you need a little brightness in your container and then our Lysimachia Goldilocks. This is what we call Algerian Ivy and it comes in this variegated color or also a solid green. Uh, this one tolerates cold temperatures very well and this six inch pot will split very nicely into two graceful chunks. So I'm gonna do that as we plant. I also have Cucura or Coral Bells, which is a perennial um, landscape plant that does great in borders. This one's called Obsidian. And the dark purple varieties are really the most hardy in our zone, zone four. And another perennial I'd like to show you that is very exciting is the Hekanakloa or Japanese forest grass. I love this grass in the landscape and it just kind of chunks up in your perennial garden beds. Um, but it's also a great fall filler for your container. And last but not leastly, we have our flowering cabbage or ornamental kale. You'll find these in upright versions or these really chunky heading versions. This one's called Pigeon Purple. And as the nights get colder, the color gets more vibrant and it colors up kind of from the middle out. So this is gonna get to be a really nice, dark, juicy purple as uh, we move farther into fall. I'm gonna plant in a 14 inch drop-in container today. I have a container at home that will fit this perfectly. So let's get started. We're gonna start with some fresh potting soil. I have the Tonkatera here. One bag of Tonkatera is enough to fill two 12 inch containers. I have a 14 inch container, so I will have a little bit left over, but not too much. So what I'm gonna do is fill two thirds full or so. Maybe got a little overfilled there. So we grow our mums at our growing range. They're just super well branched. They're really tough. They almost bounce. And look at all those roots. They're just super, super healthy, ready to go. Now in the fall, because of the cooler temperatures, our plants aren't growing a lot. So you do wanna fill your containers generously so that they're just bursting with that fall color and fall flavor. So my mom here, I can rough up these roots. Don't be afraid to rough them up and take some of that root mass off. It does not mind. So I like to put my mom kind of towards the front, but like at a little bit of an angle so you can really see that pretty face. You wanna be able to see how cute she is. There we go. All right, so this ivy is just growing so huge. So we're gonna split her up. This one you might actually need to go in there with like a trowel or a garden knife, but I'm super strong, so I'm just gonna. All right, two hunks. We're gonna do one right in the front here and let it kind of travel up and down. One right in the back, not right against mummy, mummy dearest, but pretty close. I think I'll get my cabbage in there next. So that's kind of cute. I actually, I have kind of two chunky elements together. So I think I want to add some gracefulness right underneath that kale. Put in the toppy twist. Oh yes. And the fun thing you can do with this grass is you can kind of pull it throughout. How about some taller grass right up the middle? I'm gonna add some of this 
um, brightness towards the back with the Dusty Miller. Just gonna double it up right here because I like them. I like them chunky. And if you are gonna be uh, planting some of these perennials in the ground, make sure you do that, you know, before the end of October, before the ground freezes solid. One thing you can do to ensure survival throughout the winter when you're planting perennials in the fall is make sure they're well watered until the ground freezes solid. And then also give them an extra layer of protection and insulation by mulching them with something like marsh hay or leaves or grass clippings. I don't know, I kind of like it. It's super wild and super fun. This container is quite all right as it is, but there are some um, extra things you can add just to have a little more fall fun. When all this fails, you can just stick a pumpkin in it. Just, isn't that cute? We have the most gorgeous fall produce coming in. If you want to keep going, we could add some fall leaves. I like them kind of just tucked in. These are all suitable for outdoors. So that's kind of cute. Put another one over here. <laughs> I better put it in. <laughs> I better put it in. <laughs> oh yeah, that's cute. I don't know. This might be my best fall planter ever. Another item that's really fun to add are, would be just some natural branches. These are birch tips. If you can get your hands on some curly willow, that'd be really neat or you know any other kind of funky white branches or chunky hydrangeas, something from the yard. I'm not gonna put these in right now because I think we're done. I've been cut off. Uh, these are really cute. And I gotta, I, I always gotta highlight one of my favorite products, my leaf shine. Just, it, you know, it just adds that finishing glow to your ivies, makes that kale. Great, so that's fall container gardening. Remember, you can purchase all of these items online for curbside pickup or local delivery. We'll see you at Tonkadale. Thank you.